Ya LaFord wears many hats. Painter, muralist, author, mother. But no matter what the former lawyer does, yes, she holds a law degree in addition to her MFA, she hopes to inspire reflection and change her community for the better. Let's head to downtown St. Petersburg to meet Ya, short for Tanya, and check out some of her work. You know, when you approach art, it's this living thing. And I think that for the context of what I try to create, I try to activate art. So my art is all about drawing the person inside and you becoming a part of the artwork. So if uh, my lines are the veins or the arteries, you become the heartbeat. My name is Ya LaFord, and I'm an installation muralist and um, educator. My mom's a second grade teacher, and my dad is an engineer. I was encouraged from a very early age. My mother uh, let me draw on the walls. My mother let me explore paint. My mother let me put things together. So it was fostered at a really early age. Um, when people ask me, you know, at what age do I think I became an artist. It's an easy answer. I don't think you become an artist. I think you're born an artist. So I um, just was fortunate enough to kind of uh, be situated in a place where I can just live out who I am. It's much bigger than what you would say art is. It's more um, about legacy for me and trying to figure out how we can create a difference through this format of art. I don't feel like what I do can be compartmentalized by materials. It's what the end result is with how I bring humans into a place where we can look at each other and bridge those gaps. For instance, the Sunnel. So the Sunnel is a pedestrian walkthrough that connects from Ferg's, which is a restaurant that leads right through to the Ray's Tropicana Field. Most people walk through this space that, you know, they're not thinking about consciously. What I did was I took this space and turned it into a space where kids could be transformed. I brought them and sat them in front of politicians, leaders, local officials, taught them how to ask questions and to have a general inquiry of what it is that these leaders are doing for them. and. This is a social practice that's constantly engaged in my artwork. My art is really created for a fine art institution. However, it's very important to me that the community can be included in my art making because I think that that's my means of bridging a conduit where we can actually see things from the same perspective. So many kids that will get to see my artwork going through the Weldon Johnson Library or will get to see my artwork on the back of the Morian Museum will not be going into a museum and it's important to me that they know that they're as important as my collectors. St. Pete is definitely going through a renaissance right now and I feel really blessed to be a part of it. So I recently completed a mural called The Golden Wave. It is uh, directly correlated to a book that I've written called Muralopia. Muralopia is how kids transform a community through a mural together. Books and literacy is very important. I always try to bridge the two. And um, the Green Trance, which is the entrance of Weldon Johnson Library, we were able to create a mural with the kids that really intersected words and the importance of literacy, the library, and the community, which um, you know was an attempt to make sure that we're drawing the kids inside of the library. Even after getting my law degree, I went and got my master's in fine arts. So this education literally backs and informs my practice. When I am in the art making aesthetic, I come 
to it from a very philosophical perspective. I have to understand philosophically why I'm making these marks, how these marks push forward interconnectivity. So there is the psychology behind art making that kind of adheres to, you know, my legal background. So it's all been um, very much a yellow brick road for me, where one thing leads to another. As an installation artist, I am not just one thing. You know, I can flex all sorts of muscles, which is why my art doesn't just situate itself on a canvas. It then begins to grow and, and take new form and jump off of one place and onto another where it can impact the hearts of others. For more information, check out yalaford.com.